All right, all right. This is part 51 of Red Dead 2. Let's get it. Did I not mute something? There we go. All right. Don't know why we're here. <clears throat> mm. There's a couple things we can do. I guess since we're kind of up this way, we'll go over there. Well, you're dirty. Don't don't shoot the horse. Brush the horse. It's, it's been a minute. Jesus Not Christ. We'll just walk okay. through the water. If I see another one of those blue or red fish, I'm gonna shoot one. Get it? I got it. Give me my fish, please. All right, let's get out of here. Let me brush my freaking horse. Uh, it looks pretty clean to me. Yeah, that's better, girl. Yeah. All right, how? You guys all right? How do we get up? Yeah. Just like that. Easy. Uh, I want my shotgun, please. Nope. Main missions only. That's weird. Yep. That ain't usually there. Sorry, I'm distracted. There's something weird on my screen. Attribute stats or whatever up all the way. There. Yep. If I had more time to play this today, I could probably finish it. I'm only gonna play for like two hours today, but I feel like if I did like four, oh no, because there's the epilogue, epilogue two or whatever it's called. As much as I like this game, I'm ready to play something else. I'm gonna play Metro after this. That's a game I haven't ever played that far into. And then... I might do High on Life. I don't know.
Well, I just want to know what was down there. That little bear. Nope, don't ask. Really? I understand getting good honor for doing it, but I shouldn't be penalized for not doing it. I got other shit I want to do. I'll say. I literally just said hello. Ride's a little longer than I thought it'd be. You gotta be almost there. Yeah. I want to kill one of those. Mr. I came through here before. It's annoying because you got to walk all the way. Oh, now it's actually letting me run. Hello. Oh, I didn't get a water. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all of this. We are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. <coughs> Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. I didn't put a headband okay. on. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Faber, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation. Maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. 
Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's go up this way. Sure. So you nice don't want me to steal the whole the wagon. And you don't want me to kill anybody. Lame. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. <clears throat> Should I? I guess I don't need my things. I'll just walk very slow up there since it won't let me run. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case... I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well... Good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. So, uh... How do you want me to do this? Yep. Can't kill him. I wasn't going to kill him. Forty nine cents. You guys are broke. What the? No, 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 no. Let me out. before someone comes and I gotta kill them too. Get out of there fast. Where'd the captain go? You go back to that camp. Assuming he did. I wonder how you're supposed to do that without killing him. I guess I could have lassoed the one. The first one that shot at me? I don't know. I know killing almost fast, faster, and I have good honor, so. And I know how to get it up really fast if I need to. <clears throat> yeah. 
go to Walmart and get me a steak, potatoes, and some garlic bread. That sounds good for tonight. Where are you at, guy? Captain Monroe? I got the miss. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. I'll take your word for that. We can both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Yep, Maybe yep. it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Man, there's three missions to do still. Who is that? Who is that guy? I don't remember. We're gonna do a uh, Eagle Falls first since we're pretty close to him. Yo, this horse gets dirty so fast. <clears throat> I wonder if it's because it's a white horse. Any second, I should let me run. Come on. <clears throat> We're far enough away. There we go. I don't get why he slows down on the bridge. Did I have my guns out? Man, I literally just came... Is this the way I came? Yeah. <clears throat> I've been here like four times now in the last few seconds. Oh, let me put the gun away. Hello. Got to keep that honor of. I guess another way to get it up fast is to uh, catch fish and release them. Like every time you catch them, or release it. So I haven't even tried to get one of the legendary fish. I don't know if I will. What is that guy doing? You got yourself lost, bud. Now this is a bit of a ride too, damn. Let me clean this ridiculous, a ridiculously dirty horse. <coughs> I feel like that's all I do. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion, the smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. 
We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fight. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just going to trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. I don't even want to talk to you, Dutch. I'm sick of you. It's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. <clears throat> Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. Yes. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. It'd be done if you'd let me run. Pick the thing up, dude. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep looking out from up here. Hopefully it works this time. Damn, what's wrong with that tree right in front of us? So, you finally got to see Colm Hanks. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. <coughs> We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. I think that should do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay. Let's go, Arthur. It lets me. Oh, I thought I could pick that shit. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. I, I can see you. See y'all have bandanas on? I will also. The detonator's by me. Here. <clears throat> oh, I'm doing it? My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Hot oh, damn. The one about to fall. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Damn, there's a lot oh, of them. Remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper <coughs> hand here. Oh, there's just a biggest blob on the map. Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped.
traps like they can't Put walk around that. You surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! Yep, I... My father won't be happy about this. Why we don't tell them. There's a lot of them. There's another patrol in the rear. Looks like we got a bunch there. Who started this? Hold your ground. Look out. They're coming up. All of them. Oh, they don't want to do that. What is the Dutch down there for? You damn fools, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly. All right, I'm going to end this part here. If you watched, I appreciate it. I hope you liked it, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.